is our strawberry box with some rhubarb coming up. We do have some daffodils that uh, popped up. This one, not sure yet. It's got some herbs that'll start coming back, but I don't know what else I'm putting in there. Garlic is up. We didn't do much this year, but we've got some. The rest of this box is gonna be, I think, kale. And these girls out. Good morning, little chickens. Good morning, chickens. What do you want? Some food, probably? Here's the big flock. Come on out. It's a rainy day. Go get wet. Get some food in there? Yeah, you got enough. Oh, hello. You're not coming out? Sideburns? Let's see if we've got any hidden eggs. Nothing there. Got one in here. This is a warm one. Someone's been sitting on this. This is this is from the white one of the white chickens, I think. Anything over here? Leftover? Nope. They usually do it in the afternoon. Let's see. Uh, Hoogle culture here is probably ready to be planted this year. I need to get some more soil on top, but it's been sort of melting down for the past couple years. Um, these are elderberry starting to bud out, which is great. Three different kinds here. Frog pond needs some needs some loving this year. There's a uh, there are fish in there, but I don't see them right now. The perennial herb garden. This is all thyme down here. Um, you can see it's starting to come back. And chives are all coming back quick. Oregano coming back. Sage usually takes a little bit longer. This was some annuals, so I covered it with some. Uh, this is, I think, chicken coop stuff. I don't remember. Um, what else is going on? I can never remember what I planted here, but it comes back and it flowers. This is all uh, yarrow. Starting to, starting to come back. I love these leaves, little feathery, fern-like things. This is um, all lavender. It's starting to come back as well. 
this was eucalyptus, and I think this is annual around here, so I got some more seeds to plant that. These big ones are um, the marshmallow, and I can harvest the roots now. Um, they're probably nice and thick, and I'm going to do some more this year. I can't remember what this is, or this. Actually, I don't remember what any of this stuff is over here. Hello. Say hi. Hi. Come here. Come here, chicken. Uh huh. Hello. Hello. Yeah. You're a pretty one. Mm -hmm. I don't have any food right now. This garden is prepped. Um, lots of pallets, lots of cardboard, lots of hay bales. So we put down um, all of this cardboard over the past week or so uh, to kill off the weeds because at the end of last season we let it get a little out of control. So once uh, our last frost date's the April 14th, so we're gonna, we'll remove the cardboard from, you know, certain parts of this, rows or beds, I haven't decided yet, and plant in our seedlings, um, then. And this is so far the only thing I've got in the ground. We've got climbing, um, got a row of climbing peas uh, that are companion planted with carrots so nothing really happening yet uh, I think there you know should be oh actually there's one little thing coming up over there that might be weed but I don't know uh, it's been a little chilly so I'm not surprised that there's nothing coming up yet um, but, you know, these are all planted kind of in a circle around the, around this hoop wire mesh thing that we made. Uh, these things we've had for, for a long time and they're still, uh, still sturdy. <sighs> what else is going on? Yeah, nothing really. I think, uh, you know, carrot seeds are so tiny that there might even be little micro sprouts that I can't even see. Um, and then over here we just kind of ran out of cages, so I, I threw the rest of the peas kind of haphazardly down here and hopefully they'll find their way to these little mini cages. Um, and then over here I've got black plastic down uh, as best we could um, to kill out some of the grasses and weeds. This she last year this whole area was fallow. Uh, with the exception of maybe one little section over there. This year we're going to do corn, um, pumpkins, and flowers um, on this kind of half of the garden. It's kind of divided up into like 2,000 square foot plots. So I'm like right in the middle. And over here is 25 by 40. And over here is 25 by 40. So uh, this is going to be vegetables and this will be more like fall harvest crops and flowers. Uh, there's our little campsite back there where Felix and me uh, occasionally camp out. Move the swing set over here. Got a little tree swing right there. It's tied all the way up there so they get a nice good arc. Uh, 
the treehouse I built them. I guess that's it.